Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking. I'm going to do something a little bit different today, looking at an early access PC game on Steam. This is Motor Town Behind the Wheel. It's got an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. Comes from P3 Games and was released on the 17th of December into early access. It's only about, I think, £11, something for this one. I've seen a, a few good things um, from people that played it on Twitter, so I thought I'd give it a go. I literally know very, very little about it. It's a driving game, so we're kind of learning this together. So I might do a few parts of this one. So here we go. We'll start a new game. We've got a new quest. Drive the Stinger, the beautiful blue muscle car called the Stinger is yours. Go to the driver's side door and enter the vehicle. Okie dokie, let's do that. I'm not usually a massive uh, mouse and keyboard player. What's this fella doing? What do you want, fella? He's waving like a crazy person. Right. So X to drive. Pick up the hitchhiker. You can give a ride to a hitchhiker. Find them on the roadside. Set his distance. Okay. So are you a hitchhiker? Is he? There you. Are you a hitchhiker? No. Okay. So, how are we going to know what a hitchhiker is? Pick up hitchhiker. I've kind of got a blue line behind us. Do we need to... Oh, there's a hitchhiker. Of course you're standing on the wrong side of the road. Now, again, bear in mind this is uh, early access. You're going to pick up? Do I need to spin myself around? Uh, yeah, this is in early access, so bear in mind that there might be glitches. We can spin this bad boy around, see if we can pick him up. In this way, we'll try not to run anybody over. Oh, too late. Okay, so now I can see a, a mark on the map, but it's behind us. So hopefully. We can head over there. Ooh, top speed. So, power sliding. Considering I'm using the, uh, the keyboard to drive, it doesn't feel too bad at all. The graphics are really nice. I love this chunky polygon art style. It's great. So, Mr. Hitchy Hiker is around here, I think. Now, one of the things I do know about this game is there's lots of different roles that you can take on different driving jobs. So you can be a taxi driver, an ambulance driver, policeman, truck driver, all sorts of different things. Um, can you give me a ride? Yeah, where to? Do you want to go there? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. I've got sport mode as well. I'm going to try that. Oh, cracky. Right, so apparently we're in drift mode. No, not really feeling much difference. Ooh. Back end getting a bit squirrely. Uh, there is uh, indicators as well. One and the two key do the indicators, but it's kind of hard. To do that while you're driving. Over the humps. So we're getting a warning we're going too fast. We've got down the bottom gauges look like water and fuel. Oh crap, you don't take your eyes off the road. Something gonna crash. Okay, we're gonna drop this hitchhiker off over yonder. We've got another one to pick up here. Can we pick up a second one? Just like take them all on. Come on in. Where do you want to go? I'm kind of heading in that direction as well. Jumping fella. And we'll see what happens when we drop these two guys off at the uh, designated stop.
There you go. Oh, crikey. Just wiped out a bus queue of a load of people queuing for the bus. Right, okay. Do I have to get on this spot here? Right. Use drift drive mode. You can change your drift drive mode by pressing Q. Comfort is for relaxed driving. Automatic uses high gear. Sport mode is for racing. Drift mode is to go sideways. Yeah, I don't want to do drifting. Uh, thanks for the ride. Got 100 XP for doing that. That's good. Seems I have got a police wanted rating, maybe. Right, drive the pickup truck. Find a pickup truck and drive it. It's not really working out for me, is it? Right, let's go. Up the hill. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck. Okay, we'll find a, a less steep slope. We need to come out of... Follow this is seems a less of a slope up here. Let's get back on the road. Whack it into sport mode. There we go. Right, so we need to find a pickup truck. I don't know when this one's uh, scheduled for a full release, so it's in early access at the moment. Certainly see it's a little bit rough around the edges as is my driving, just trying not to kill anyone else. Pretty sure it's got an interior view as well, I'm just uh, not sure about what button that's on. Let's see if we've got, got this control panel. So what we've got, interior light. Yeah, it doesn't really give you any information about cameras. Whoa, autopilot. Oh, okay, let's go on autopilot. We'll have a little play around with the... Uh, Buttons, so passengers, seat position. Eh. Right, come on, pilot, you need to crack on. Right, let's take back over. Okay, so there is something around here. I don't know if it's the truck we've been waiting for. It doesn't feel like there's going to be a truck around here. So let's spin her around. Head back to the uh, other point. This is probably infinitely easier to play on a controller. I'm not really used to playing keyboard and mouse for driving games. So how do we get out of the car? Ah, exit vehicle, Z. Okay, so we can have a wander around in third person view. Pick up delivery. Ooh. So we've got these delivery jobs all over the map, which is pretty cool. Let's go and get in the truck, see if we do need to pick something up. Uh, interaction. Right. Pick up cargo. Find a warehouse and pick up the cargo. Set as destination. Okay. So I think I think we need to go here. Pick up delivery. What should we deliver? Where's the distance? Do a short distance. Let's do box pallet. 
box pallet B. That looks like a twisty road. Oh, I see. These are actually live, so they're sort of disappearing pretty quickly. So let's load on this. So we've got our load of cargo. Now to rest area B. Whoa. Okay, be careful of the physics. And let's head out and deliver these items. Don't just stop in front of me. Um, again, yeah, really nice graphics of these cars. I just love this look. The town's obviously a little bit sparse, maybe. Could do with more traffic. It's a squeeze. Oh. But yeah, as I, as I said earlier, I think there's, um, from my understanding of it is, there's no end of stuff that you can do in terms of... Oh, nice Ferrari there. Oh, no! Took my eyes off the road to admire the Ferrari, outrun style, and then smashed head on into the only car that you wouldn't want to smash head on into. Right. I've got fined for that, so I've got no money. Pick up the cargo. No, the cargo is back in the truck. Come back. <laughs> this is like the uh, Britain's worst drivers videos. Oh god. Right, move to driver's seat. Here we go. <laughs> Just absolute disaster. Right, headlight four. That's got a day night cycle as well. So we've got our headlights on now. annoying because I would like to see if there's an interior view. Ah, oh, C button. Of course it's a C button. Why wouldn't it be? So let's, get in, let's do a bit from the interior view. So, nice interior view. And obviously you can use the mouse to look around while you're in there. Admire the scenery as you're driving. Ah, oh, truck! Night time fell pretty fast. You can change the uh, the day night cycle time. How long the uh, the day night cycle lasts? Pretty squirrely these roads. Hitcher up here as well. Cockney Hitcher. Let's grab. Let's grab you. Can I give you a ride? Yeah, why Thank not? I'm kind of going in this direction. Come on, let's go. We was in comfort mode. I wonder why we was pootling along. So press Q back into sport mode. I'm not going to pick you up. You look like Santa Claus. So let's just try and get to this drop-off destination. Whoa, just absolutely giving it round the corners. It's like the Rally of Corsica. Oh god, another copper. Oh no. It's another fine, I would imagine. Yeah, we've got some sort of GTA style wanted badge now in the top corner. Definitely going to tip this over the mountain. We'll carry on driving like this.
There's actually a, a demo of this as well on Steam, so if you want to give it a download and try it for yourself, I've got the uh, the full game here from the developers. Which is uh, super kind of them. I thought it was being chased by the police then. Where are we? 300 metres from our destination. Nearly there. Don't think we're going to get hired to do too many more deliveries. How we haven't killed anyone yet. Is it in as Congratulations, you're now driver level two. That flashed up a bit quick. I think it said we could drive a taxi. I think if anyone's seen me driving this cargo up this mountainside, I don't think they'd want to get in the car with me. Engine is overheating. Use lower RPM to avoid full throttle. Consider upgrading the radiator. No! The engine's on fire. Well, that is handy. That our drop off point is a garage, isn't it? Drive trophy taxi. Find the trophy taxi and drive it. So let's. Um... Oh God, I'm being chased by the police. Oh crumbs! What a place to end it with an arrest, refusing to stop. I thought I was getting flushed by the police. Let's uh, go back to the main menu because there are some other bits and bobs to look at before we finish. We've got a time attack. We've got a race and you can join a multiplayer session, which is pretty cool. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of options. Loads of graphic settings. Change controls. By the way, we're at uh, 1080p at epic quality. some sound settings and some assist settings so it's pretty cool so there is the, the race option and a multiplayer option where you can uh, all drive around got a character editor as well but yeah obviously much more to do as you drive around getting XP and uh, unlocking new cars and jobs to do I think it could be quite a fun game that so I may come back and revisit this as it's um, early access pootles along, I'll keep an eye on it. If anything significantly changes, I will make another video. But I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, give me a comment. What do you think? Are you going to be having another look at this one yourself? Say so there is a demo on Steam as well you can grab. If you've got any questions that you want me to check out and answer, leave them below. Subscribe if you're new. Be most appreciated. And a thumbs up and all that good stuff. But until next time, I will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.